I'm tinkering about in my workshop shed. Okay. Wait till you see this. Awesome. Or what? So, you go off in the winter. What are you going to do? It's all right in the summer, but <laughs> you're going to freeze in the winter unless you've got this. It's a Eltex Paraffinita. Oh, awesome, or what? Yeah, you put your paraffin in. It's got a little wick. Light it up, and you're ready to go. Warm as toasties. Yeah, not really. Please don't do that, because paraffin has fumes. If you put that in your camper van, you probably wouldn't wake up next morning. That was a joke. Okay, it's great for the greenhouse. Don't put it in your camper van. So I'll put that down and I'll tell you what I'm really going to use. This awesome little compact Chinese diesel heater. This is the business. They're about £80. You get them offline, eBay, Amazon. Just have a scroll through and you'll find it. It's nice, the right price. You will need, we found, bits of extra bits and bobs um, that don't come with it, um, or you may want to change. Uh, we've certainly changed a few things. So, runs off a 12 volt as well. Obviously, diesel powered. So, Here's the exhaust. Just want to tell you about this first. So you can buy a plate, which is exactly the right size that you need for all of your bits and bobs that go out your van. Put the plate on, put this on. You're going to run this exhaust out of the van and underneath your van, away from you. Do not put this too close. You don't want any fumes coming in. So... That's the idea. You can, you can see all this online anyway, but I'm just telling you what we've done. So when you put your exhaust on, it goes down, out. There'll be a plate comes on it, so nothing comes into your van. You want to, first of all, get an exhaust wrap. And the reason for that is, yeah, okay, they're the right price, but you might want to change this to something else. But we found... You just put this on, it's fine. Wrap it up. And also, before you wrap it, once you put it in place, put on your cement, which is going to go all the way around on each end, just so there's nothing escaping from this exhaust. Because it's monoxide, and you don't want that. We've got... A lifesaver. It's a monoxide alarm. There are only pennies. You make sure you get one. Because if you don't, again, you might not wake up in the morning. Get a monoxide alarm. Very important. So, you put your cement on when you fitted it. After that, you get an exhaust wrap that you can buy online. You get all this online, yeah. Wrap your exhaust up. You can also get metal ties, we suggest. You know, plastic, obviously, because this gets hot. So when you put your wrap on, put it about a quarter of an inch over as you wrap it, each one. That makes it nice and safe. Put your metal wraps on, uh, ties. All the way down, yeah. If this probably isn't going to be long enough, you can buy a longer one, yeah. Online again. So, we bought one a little bit too long, but better too much than not enough. It comes out, you can buy them round about 10 foot. And uh, we didn't need all that, so that's what's left. But... Um, I'll tell you about that later, but this is what's left over from what we use in the first place. Because we've got two diesel eaters. That's another story if you tune in to my channel. 
So there it is. Again, round about 15 quid, you get a 10 foot exhaust, which is going to go well away from you. Yeah. This is really, really important. Then, this one, particular one, has got four pipes. You can buy one if you want one with just one pipe, which looks like that, 75 mil, yeah? So, much longer than that. You pull it out, I'm not gonna do that at the moment. What else? I know. I bet you're, I bet you're out there going, what, she's gonna build a camper van? Come on. Well, yeah, you know. There's a lot of people around have never done one, and you've got to start somewhere, ain't you? So, yes, I am. All I'll tell you again is, be safe if you fit in a diesel eater. Monoxide alarm, very first thing you need. Hope you like this. Keep tuning in. See you in the next one.